Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Well, I hope as always. So, you can see some, some sunshine here in Australia today. Fantastic, it's been pretty miserable. Um, look, in this video, I wanted to really talk about uh, where you should be both mentally and, and financially uh, before you enter into any sort of program or agreement or any online business, right? To, to, to be specific. Now, this is extremely important. And I'll explain why throughout this video, but it is extremely important to be relatively financially stable before you enter into any um, online program, like my program, for example, right? Period time publishing. You don't want to be coming into a program if you're spending your last red cent to get into that program. Now, I'll explain why. Well, it's sort of like <laughs> this advice for me to give is is odd because so many times throughout my life and my journey as an entrepreneur, I've been down to my last dollar and I've spent it on a program or I've spent it on on the the hopes that the next thing will be the thing that hits, right? And um, I've gone broke countless times, more times than, than I could literally count, right? So for me to give this advice, it goes a little bit against what I would actually do. I, I would still, to today, uh, spend my last red cent on a program or on something, on a business. It's just who I am. But it's not really the best strategy because most people, it's, it's it puts a lot of pressure on you when you don't have the finances available to you, right? So if you're in a position where you're either going to get a loan or this is why I don't offer finance to get into my program. A lot of course creators do, they offer finance. I will never do that because it gives a, a bad experience to you and to us, to me and to my community. It gives a bad experience to everyone involved if you're dead broke spending your last red cent on getting into a program or if you need to even get finance because you don't have that last red cent to get into a program. What happens is you come into, into the program looking to make money fast, right? Because you are struggling. You've got you've got bills to pay, you've got debts mounting up, you've got rent to pay, you can't afford food, right? So you're bound to make mistakes. You're bound to come into this program with the mindset of I need this to work and I need it quick. Right? And if you come into a program with that mindset, you're going to rush through the training, you're going to rush through um, the implementation process, and you are going to make mistakes, and it's only going to be detrimental to you and me, because you're going to be saying, Dan, or, or any course creator, right? I'll use myself as an, as an example. You're going to be saying, Dan, I've done everything you've asked, and I've, and I've implemented all of this, but I'm not making sales. Why? What's going on? What's going on? And you're, you're stressed out. You're under pressure. And if you can't handle that pressure because you literally have uh, bills to pay that aren't being paid, it's not going to be a good experience for you and eventually you're going to quit. You're going to change directions. You're going to end up back or worse off than where you started, right? So it's extremely important to at least have a stable financial base before you get into a program. Now, this doesn't mean that you need to be well off. It doesn't mean that you need to be, um, you know, like extremely comfortable in life. You're coming into this program because you want to change your position. So your position is probably tough, right? I, I get it. I know it. I've been there. I've been homeless. I've been to rock bottom over and over again. So I understand being in a tough position. So even though your position is tough, you still need to have stability. This is what I'm getting at. If you don't have stability, if you don't have an income enough to cover your living expenses at minimal, then you really have no business getting into a program because it takes time. All businesses take time and effort to, to get result, right? And if you come into this like gun ho I need money now, and you're thinking all about your pocket, filling this up and your wallet because you need that money, now you needed it yesterday. You got, you know, you got a loan to get into this program or you spent your last red cent. You need a return. Now you are setting yourself up for failure, right? And you're also setting yourself up for disappointment. You're setting yourself up to be reaching out to your coach all the time saying, why, why, why? Instead of just really focusing, relaxing and understanding the process, 
This is what you really need to do if you want to be successful. You need to understand the process. You need to take your time. You need to accept there's a learning curve. And, and even once you feel like you've learned the exact strategy, you need to accept that you're not going to implement it the, the, the right the first time around. You're just not. This is business, right? No matter how much somebody can teach you their path that they walked, you're still going to assess that inside of your mind differently to the way that they initially implemented it. So regardless of all the, the help in the world that you can get in, the, in, in any program, you are very unlikely to make a return on investment in the first couple months, regardless of the program, whether it's in Kindle Direct Publishing, audiobooks, um, <laughs> creating a, a regular business, a, you know, a computer business, doing SEO, digital marketing agencies, it does not matter what it is. It's very rare that you're going to make a return on that investment in the first few months. And, and in most businesses, the first few years, right? That's no joke. You think about back to traditional businesses, um, most people don't see a return on investment to the second year. They're usually running at a loss. So <clears throat> this is a, a very unique business in the sense that absolutely within the first three to six months, sometimes even two months, you can see a return on your investment. Um, if you implement right, okay, there's always, there's always that chance, and it's a big chance actually, the odds are quite high that you won't do it the right way the first time. And you especially won't do it the right way the first time if you come into it just needing to make that return fast, right? So it's very important that, one, your mental state is correct. And the only way your mental state can really be correct, and when I say your mental state, I talk about that ability to go, okay, I understand this is going to take time. I'm just going to take that time, not rush through it. I'm going to get myself in the right headspace. I'm going to make sure I truly understand everything before I implement it. And then I'm going to accept that even though I feel like I've taken my time and I've truly understood all of the content, now I'm implementing it, I accept that I'm probably still going to do it incorrectly and I'm going to still need to learn. And that process of implementation and learning and changing and pivoting is also going to take time. That's the mental mind frame you need to be in before you enter any program. Then there's the financial mind frame. And you can't have the right mental mindset going into a program if you're absolutely flat broke or if you're in massive debt, right? You just really can't. You need to first consider... Um, your finances, right? So the way to usually do this and most people do is just a regular nine to five job, right? And if you have a regular nine to five job, you, even if you have a lot of debt and it's tough, you can still work things out. You can go, right, I got this debt. I can start up a payment plan here and this is how much I can afford. And you can handle that, right? This is like what financial advisors do. They talk about all of this stuff. I don't think it's any real way to live always always just scraping by, it sucks, right? I've been through it, and this is why I teach and do what I do, because I want as many people to get out of this um, hand-to-mouth lifestyle as possible. And and that, to me, feels like legacy, right? I, I, I would love to help as many people as possible to get past this hand-to-mouth lifestyle. It's definitely, it's an existence, but it's not really living. But at the end of the day, you can. You can look at how to, how to financially stabilize yourself. If you have a nine to five job, if you have any sort of income, even if you have government assistance. I've been on government assistance before, guys, right? I, I've had struggle street many times in my life and I've been able to stabilize my income or stabilize my expenses against the income that I was earning on government assist, assistance and still afford to get into programs because I had a stable... Uh, financial machine, I guess. It is like I had the cogs turning the right way. So that's what I'm saying. Life doesn't need to be easy before you get into a program because if it was, then why are you going into a program? If your life is easy and great, then, I mean, you would do it, you're just doing it for uh, the extra knowledge or the or the, or the, uh, the, the the mental side of things. Like for me, teaching this is because I was extremely bored with my life with my, my business life anyway, like it actually got too easy for me. So I decided to teach this and there's other reasons, but that's one of the big ones. I needed a challenge. That's the word I'm looking for. Now, 
if life is good and great and smooth, well then you probably don't need a program and you're just doing it for a challenge and that's cool too. Or you're doing it just for another stream of income because you're an entrepreneur and that's what we do and that's all good. But if you're coming into a program and you're absolutely dead broke or you need a loan, my official advice is don't. First, get yourself stable. It doesn't need to be easy. Get yourself stable. Make sure that you have um, your debts being paid. Make sure that you have your bills being paid. Make sure that you have your rent being paid, okay? Just the bare necessities of life taken care of before you get into any program. Because if you don't, you're under stress. When you're under stress, you do not implement things correctly, right? So you're going to come in with the wrong mindset. You're going to come into the program with the wrong mindset of, I need money, I need money now. Where in fact, if you want to be successful, you need to come into the program, into any program with the mindset of, I, I understand this is going to take time. I understand there's a learning curve. I understand that I'm probably not going to implement this right the first time. And therefore I understand that it's probably going to be a little while before I see a return on investment. It's not a blanket rule. There, ha there are people out there that I have seen that have come into programs, into my program, and just, just blown it out of the ballpark, right? Blown it out of the ballpark. And that is not a common thing to happen, though, guys. We need to understand this. When, when you see student results, um, especially on those big glamorous webinars and all of those things where they say, this person did this and this person done that, you've got to look at the statistics behind it. Now... You put enough people into a program where you know that that program can succeed and you will see successes, right? But it doesn't mean that it's the common thing to happen to people inside of that program. And that's why I always preach this stuff, guys, the real stuff. I'm talking about understanding that it's going to take time. I'm talking about understanding that you don't want to put yourself in a position where you're under financial stress because you won't implement it correctly and it's just going to hurt you further. Right, and it's going to hurt me too because it's going to upset me that that I'm I can't get you the result that you need, and that reason is because your mind is not right. That's that's the reason. I can look at the strategy that you're implementing and everything, and make sure that's all perfect and 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 down pat. But if you don't have that right mental attitude towards the business, because and it's not at a fault of your own, it's because you most of the time are struggling financially and nobody told you this. Nobody told you that you shouldn't come into a program when you're struggling financially. People try to push that off as the solution. Hey, you're struggling financially. I can help you. Well, I can help you if you're struggling financially, but I would not suggest that you are at your bottom dollar. I would not, I, I would even go as far as saying nobody can really help you when you're at your bottom dollar. If you needed to get a loan to get into a program, nobody can really help you. It's, uh, of course, it's not a blanket rule. Again, sometimes, of course, people that spend their bottom dollar come into a program. I, I'm, I'm proof of it. I've been there, right? I've had no money, spent my bottom dollar and gone in and made 20 grand. So that can happen, but more times than not, it didn't happen. Right? When I spent my last bottom dollar or I got a loan to get into a program, more times than not, I was the statistic on the poorer side of things. Okay, And that's what I'm saying, guys. We need to be realistic about these things. We need to understand what, it, what it's going to take before you make that decision to get into a program. And we need to understand that it doesn't mean that you need to be comfortable. You just need to be stable. Before you get into any program, make sure you're stable. That's the message for this video at the end of the day, guys. Make sure you're financially stable because it's the only way you can have mental stability and that's the only way you'll succeed. Anyway, guys, um, if you do want to get involved in my program and you feel like you have that stability but you just need more in your life, you just need to, you know, you just want that comfort, that comfort that we all deserve at the end of the day, then drop a comment below and I'll get in touch. Um, but yeah, guys, make sure that you do at least have that stability inside of your life. And if you don't, go to work getting it. Still look at, you know, improving your position. We all want to do that. But go to work getting that stability. Make sure that your debts are being paid. Make sure that your bills are being covered. And make sure that your rent and food is taken care of. If you have that, then it's time to get into a program and improve your position. All right, guys, you all have a good day. And I'll talk to you on the next one.